Yeah, I mean, Coach Rizzi, I think, brings a lot of experience. I think everyone on our team is aware of what he's done in the past, and I think it brings a lot of fire to what, what he does. It's clear that he loves his job, loves coaching special teams. As far as my involvement, I think we're still exploring everything, but I've, I've still been doing everything I was doing last year. Um, but I think a lot of that is still kind of to be determined. Prior to coming to New Orleans, what experience did you have playing anything other than quarterback? You know, I played a little bit of uh, defense when I was in high school. Uh, really, that was special circumstances, you know, playoffs and that type of deal, one-off things. But other than that, all I've done is, is quarterback, so so none until now. What was the defense? That you uh, I, I would go play corner in, in uh, again, certain circumstances or situations if, if it was kind of a do-or-die situation. And then... Um, you know, a little bit of safety and, you know, various things like that. But it was all situational and it was all one off. So what would happen the first time the Saints brought up the idea of trying different things? What, was it special teams first? Well, it, it, it started with special teams um, my rookie year, 17. I, I think it was about week 11. Um, and then from there, it just kind of warped into what it's what it's been so far. Um, I think everything always started as a, hey, we could probably do this, um, and then I'd rep it in practice, and then slowly, you know, I would start to have a little success. And I think that we realized that it added another element of, uh, you know, what the defense has to prepare for to defend us, and and uh, it just started to evolve. So what was your reaction when they first came to you? I assume you were excited. Yeah, yeah, I was all for it. I was all for it. You know, a tricky thing about being the third guy in, in the NFL, and I experienced this my rookie year, is I, I, I didn't have a jersey on game day. Um, so I was inactive up until week 11, and so this created an opportunity to, to, you know, dress on game day and then get on the field. So I was I was really excited about it. Jason, at, at BYU, you had so many injuries that you had to fight through. I wonder coming to the NFL or just over the last couple of years, did you find a way to manage your body differently to be able to, did you find a formula that worked for you? That's a good question. You know, I, I think uh, I always chalked up my injuries to just bad luck. Um, and if I looked at each individual play, it was kind of one-off deals, one-off situations where it was just a big collision or a big hit, kind of a freak deal. Um, so I, I think I've made a, a point and emphasis to make sure that I've recovered, you know, and come back stronger so I don't have any nagging issues. But, you know, my mindset, my mentality is still the same as, as what it was when I was in, in college. Um, I also think the number of reps that I'm playing in the NFL versus to what we were doing in college, we were a no huddle, hurry up offense and, you know, running a lot of plays week in and week out. So just a lot more opportunities. Jason, have you done anything differently this offseason since you know your role is going to be a little bit more involved than previous past season? Yeah, sure. Um, I, no, I, as far as my workout routine and, and uh, schedule, I, I've. I've always been a guy that, that works out hard in the weight room and, uh, you know, running on the field and stuff. So that's all stayed the same. Um, you know, things that I pay attention to as far as film study and, and various things like that has changed a little bit. But as far as how I approach and get ready for a season, uh, I feel like what I've been doing prepares me for that. Jason, there's a, there's a lot of guys in college that have found success at quarterback that can throw the ball a country mile, like if you will, but how much more at the NFL level is accuracy a premium that goes way beyond how far yeah. you can throw it down the field? Yeah, I mean, I think a lot of people talk about that transition, the you know, video or you know, interview that I'm most familiar with. I remember Joe Montana talking about what's open in high school, what's open in college, and what's open in the NFL, and the reality is the windows that you're throwing to in the NFL are just much smaller and guys react much better, they're much quicker and um, so you have to be able to fit the ball into tighter windows. So I think that's why you see, you know, the success that Drew's had is he's incredibly accurate and uh, he's he anticipates everything so well. So it's a difficult transition um, and, and it definitely, you know, you, you have to have that accuracy if you're going to be 
uh, successful at this level for sure. Jason, you said your your workout training was the same, but did you do like additional work with the read option or anything? Since you probably hadn't done that for a couple off seasons, I assume. You know, uh, I, I haven't done it for for a few off seasons. I would say when we get back to training camp, we make sure that we get some reps at it and stuff. Um, so I feel like we got enough work at it in the off season. Um, and then, frankly, I, I've been doing that since you know high school, um, the zone read stuff, and did that a lot there. I did a lot in college, so that's something that I'm I'm comfortable with and familiar with. How, how much did you go back and watch the tape, or, or even just as it was happening, process how differently NFL teams treat it than what you were used to seeing? When I guess it was yeah, in yeah. We I've I've spent some time looking back at you know the film in college versus the film here, and I think it, the NFL. Um, they, they play it, definitely play it differently. I, I think it's not as, as big a part of the game in the NFL, so you don't see it schemed up as, as much as we would in college. Um, but every, every team is a little bit different. Um, and then it's just, you know, it, it adjusting to what I think a pull read is versus a give read is in the NFL because the reality is, you know, the defensive ends are, are really well and are, are really fast and quick, and, and they typically play that uh, really well at this level. Did, did six different NFL teams create it six different ways, or you kind of saw a lot of the same things from different teams? You know, a lot, a lot of the same, um, but there, there were definitely teams out there that played it differently, um, and, and we had game plans, you know, uh, to attack what we thought we would see. and. We saw some of that in various games with Minnesota and, and Philly, where we try to take some opportunities down the field um, when, they, when those opportunities created themselves. Well, were there any of those teams that you played twice, the division rivals or Philadelphia, that, that you noticed had a different plan for you the second time? Uh, no, there, there's there's nothing that jumps you know out to me. I, I would say um, you know Minnesota, you know they they were bringing safeties out of the middle field, and then that that changed. Um, you know, later in the game, and then uh, Philly was another team that would bring the safeties down to play the zone read, and then um, that slowly started to change a little bit as well. But every team's a little bit different, and um, you know, we're, we're still trying to fill it out and figure out what the best way to do it, it inside our offense too. How much you gather Kamara enjoys running the zone read with you? Because I'm sure he Alex? brings a different, yeah, just a different element to his game too. Yeah, I mean. I, I'm not sure. I, I haven't really talked to Alvin specifically about that, but um, I, I think we we both had a lot of fun, you know, in the backfield together, and um, you know, doing that stuff, and and you know, it's obviously created running lanes for me. It's created good running lanes for him, and um, it, it's been fun for both of us. How much pressure does it put on you? I guess sometimes to make the right read, just given that you know he could get up the field pretty quickly. And yeah. He's able to get up. Yeah, sure. I, I mean, look, I, I try not to overthink it, you know, and I, I haven't been perfect, you know, in my zone read decisions with give and pull and, and everything else. But I think overall we're just getting in and we're trusting what I see. And, and sometimes they get us, sometimes we get them, you know, and, and that's the nature of the game of football. It's, it's not a perfect game, but, um, you know, we're going to go out and play fast and play hard and, and uh, try to create opportunities for ourselves. Being a quarterback, do you sort of have a head start when they have you play running back or receiver because you already have to know everybody's role and position? Yeah, I think that transition would be much easier for me to, to step into a different position because of that. Um, but, you know, it, it's it's a different transition where a lot of my fundamentals, it's, you know, three-step, five-step drop, mechanics, everything else is a quarterback. And now that mindset completely shifts to, you know, what's my technique in this blocking scheme? What's my technique in this route? Um, so it, it is a different mindset, but um, I, I think the transition probably is easier for me, um, you know, than, than other guys that are switching positions.